In terms of Japanese encephalitis, I probably come from two angles. I come from my own business because, you know, we employ over 20 people, heaps of families rely on us, but I also come from an angle of my staff and human health and my community. For our staff, it's really about the mosquitoes. In terms of the mosquitoes, we deal with them every year because we don't want them biting our pigs and irritating them for animal welfare reasons, for biosecurity reasons. So our normal procedures is keep grasses down, keep water down. Um, this year we've taken to another level and we're in consultation with our farm vet. We're using uh, insecticides outside our sheds to also stop the breeding. And we're also for our susceptible uh, breeding sows, we're doing a backline um, of a product just to help kill them if they do come into the shed. Uh, in terms of testing for um, JEV, I've been tested. Do I know the results? No. Um, but my understanding um, from talking with um, professionals around JEV is that 1% of people show symptoms of it. So there's probably a good chance I've already been bitten by an infected mosquito that I didn't keep control of. Yeah, so I'm an intensive pig farmer, so we've spent uh, a lot of money at our breeder unit on automation, so there's lots of fans, lots of airflow, and that's probably what I do at my own house. When we have friends out in the outdoor area, we get the fans going. So I went to the supermarket and bought two big boxes of um, um, insect repellent, so everyone can have one in their back pocket. Um, like I said, we use insecticides outside the sheds, and, and really it's, it's being aware. So in terms of Japanese encephalitis on my farm, we've only had minor signs, but what the key signs have been is an increase in mummified or an increase in stillbirth. Other signs some farms have seen is sows just don't farrow, and they might farrow two weeks late, and something like that, which is very uncommon. What I would encourage pig farmers, talk to your vet. We all have a great relationship with our vet, and, and keep talking to them about anything that's not normal. I think that the next part of the challenge, especially over winter, is how do we, as communities, keep the mozzie levels down uh, in the future, before next spring. And, and I think that's gonna be a harder conversation because it's easy for a small industry, but harder for a, a, you know, the wider community. Japanese encephalitis has no impact on pork products. We're a significant player in the country and I guess my encouragement to all of us is um, look after our staff, look after you know our communities and our pigs, um, get in great mozzie controls and, and yes short term pain but in the long term we're resilient and pig farmers always have been and always will be.